Yuri. 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 On the phone. It's Yuri. Hey everybody. Welcome to the last episode of Toki Toki. So last time uh who was it? Sorry? Yeah. She kind of died and now they are pretending like she never existed. Let's continue, damn it. Let's choose random. What the fuck? Yes. Hi, Kim, huh? Guess to see you in front of your ass. <laughs> Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come, so everyone else is already hanging out. Hmm. Thanks for keeping your promise, Mel. Wait, what the fuck is this? What? Why is it? What? Are there any mistakes? No. I remember correctly this was closed. And Sayuri is here. Hmm. What a nice wallpaper. Anyway. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of commitment for you. Making you tie your head first in the chair and don't look him at it. The fuck? Oh, come on. Like it is and it's like your head to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you can just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't think that there is like any money in your life. I can't read the dialogue. Get out of here, you sentient bee. Not so you send me here a bee mouth for some... Wait, what the fuck is happening? These two are large. As a big mouth for someone who keeps on college in the classroom. Hmm. Not sure you find herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga can be legendary. Swift. Yes, Swift. Swift to defeat at Natsuki pops back into a seat. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll make sure to put you in comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club, you know, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it's only feel right for me to do something like that, if so, ask. Oh, wait. Didn't mean it like that. If you don't really want to, then fuck it, I said in the end, so I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I won't try to be a part of the club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, oh, uh, as vice president and all. Uh, that I should help you get started on something yeah. you might like. You reach into a bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to laugh your left up. So I picked up a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's short read, so I should keep your attention even if you don't you should read. And we could, you know, discuss if you want it. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked up the book she think I like this very not really much. Here, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Yeah, read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Ah, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I now that now that everyone settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some shadow activities at club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Your face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. 
I'm really curious to talk to you really about more. And at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It's like the same book, but she lent it. More than that, she seemed to be in the first few pages. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She makes another glance at me and now I smell for a split second. But then only make a hide her face deep in her book. So I was just spacing out. I muttered this sensing I made her uncomfortable. It's fine. If I was lost, then I probably would not have seen the first place, but I'm just here reading a bit of this soul. That's the book you gave me, right? I want to re-read some of it. Not for any particular reason. How oh, I just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I mean. I mean, just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that you isn't telling me, but I decided to let you go. I'll definitely start reading it so on. Once it starts to pick up, I might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? I looked at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Marco. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment. The people yep. trapped in there have the street that turns them into a crazy machine that lasts for blood. But that faculty get even worse and they start selecting breeding people to cut them off their limbs and yeah, fix them too. Oh, that might be a little bit of spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Now the thing about limbs. I don't know, man. Kinda seems like a, some kind of foreshadowing. That's... That's kind of dark, you see. You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came on nowhere. Are you not a fan of that thing, ma? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot you were really into these things. She is so shy and reclaws and out, but her mind seemed to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenged you to look at life from a stranger in your perspective. And all of things happen to not just because someone wants to be evil. But because the world is full of horrible people and we are all worthless anyway. Yeah, you are worthless. I'm... I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. She, she must have been possessed. Hey, hey, don't worry. I haven't lost interest in it. I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I had this problem. I like things like books and writing funny my thoughts. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I'm not saying something strange. And I blessed her if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you are passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. Uh, it's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... well that's true. In fact, I might as well start reading it, right? Yes. I mean, you don't have to buy Hey, it changed. Ah. Well, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I could read the book that I have put in my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to you, Riz. I sure. You seem a little apprehensive. I'm sorry. It's something I want to do. It's just something I'm not really used to. That's it, it's reading company and it's summer. Well, just let tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. I opened the book and started to grow. I soon understand what you mean about reading it come back. It is as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. 
Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. You are easy in the corner of my eye. I realize that she is not actually looking at her own book. I glanced over. It looks like she is reading some reading from my book instead. <laughs> It was too fast, I can't really. You, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Yeah, this should work right. I said my desk can't take it, so I'll probably enjoy this thing holding a book more between the two of them. I suppose so. You read immediately closer, so I won't copy. Once we each lean a little bit on our shoulder, I'll almost start. I feel like my arm in the way so I used to write with my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that means kind of great on the page. So we were here before. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the right, left book between her thumb and forefinger. I do the same with my right hand. The right. That day I turn a page and Yuri slides it on the thumb after me. But holding like this, we are hardly getting close to the end of the It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of your face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? To turn the page? Ah, oh, sorry. I think I've got a bit distracted for some. I glance over your face again and I know I've moved. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. It's okay. You are not as used to read it, right? I don't think my imagination is going to take a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you are being patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. You do no longer ask me if I'm ready to change the page. Mr. Dad just says that she finishes the page before, so I turn it by my own voltage. We continue with a step in silence. Even so, turning each page on feel like an intimate next day. My thumb gently lifting off the page, letting it flutter over her side when she catches it under her thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Hey, I don't relate to this character at all. You mean a lot. I was just thinking the way she second guesses the things she says. What you talking about? Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Yeah, man. We didn't even get to that far yet, so I don't know why that came to me. Yuri, I feel all right. He has been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little. I breathe. Yuri puts her hand on the ass to as if to feel a heart. I didn't notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. You stand up, practically rushed out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Huh? Did something happen just now? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. So I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, oh, not really. Just think, you sure that you didn't do anything to her? No, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri does this sometimes, so it's nothing wrong. All right, if you say so. Why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Hey, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we could start without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note to where I left my off in the boat. Then I slip it back into my bag. I saw something. Go with Monica. I should start with mine. Yesterday she seemed sick at three times, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, man. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good. Glad to hear. By the way, since we are new and everything, 
Give me a hand, change my club, like me, my duties on things we can do better. My assessing. I'm be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going off with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, oh, don't worry, man. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed today, we yeah. are. But that's sort of very that we'll all learn to get past on. Yeah, that's true. I had a money come up there. Great job, man. I was going all in my head while reading. Uh, it was really metaphorical. I'm not sure if I'm really expecting you to go for something so deep. Yes, I understand you. It's easier for me to keep the grand expectation low. That way, it seems always count when I put in some effort. Ah, oh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that you relax this kind of writing, right? I think that's full of imaginary symbols. Sometimes I feel like ah, uh, your mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like a bad thing, but sometimes <coughs> I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spent too much time on her own, and that is probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she used to lie and call it that. She must be real star with all her interactions, so I don't blame her for coming on strong. La la la. She has so much energy and a bit of joy and loving her friends. Suddenly the door opens. You! Yeah. I'm mad! Did I miss anything? Not really. Let me all start sharing our moons with you. Already? Sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Thanks, man. I suppose I should get to my poem now. Can you do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You, you, sound, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. This doesn't mean I'm always feel that way, you know. Well, let's read it then. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very freedom. It's what that word you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. It's okay. Just this kind of style I've gotten pretty poor nowadays. That's a lot of people I'm having for two years. There is a lot of people who have been putting emphasis on the time in between words and lines. In performing out loud, it can be very powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I found it in Bali and Nelizabeth. It's been physical and warm a little bit. And maybe, maybe. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of calm, coming on strong. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, yes, Monica is right in deep with the day. Sometimes when you're writing a your story, your brain gets to a specific point. If you try hard to make it better, then you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to hit someone down on the bed and tie it up later. And the way to think about this is. Keep it in the sense what to go down to the bit and well. Smooth your hand on the bottom of the floor. That's my twist today. Thanks for listening. What did I saw here? As you read the poem, I know it is so I like. Seven. Huh? What was that? Did I say that I'll laugh? You refers to cause a mood and big ends up covering her whole face. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. I guess you're right. But I'm not getting nervous, so. Yuri takes a breath. What kind of right experience do you have? You're just a man, you're 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 a man, you
wow that's a you come here come from you this is actually my first time really you just ask me man and then not set my poem again huh? you know that just my time you need to tell so far I better find an excuse she tries to find a solo the words in the poem as if breaking down a story this is the reason I was about to tell just that they are especially kind of that I am a typical of the writers that I mean means to that much if I can learn to pick them up I think the most natural thing I have done is to understand they try to make the style very deliberate In other words, they tend to become writing stars separate from the topic matter and they form it together. The end result is both style and expression are weakened. Once you refine certain thought as if the demand and thought changes, the stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills, techniques that go into writing and writing. Just finding them and really them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. When taking some time, but it all comes with the practice and learning by example and training this. Also, I hope that you guys think that it will be a very good fit. As you can be a little bit biased. Biased. Let me down my last video. I'm not sure if you are apologizing her to herself to me or not. So, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Your smile is extremely as if that's a reality before. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this is, this is supposed to be a little uh, straight up. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. I wasn't... I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, I just don't read the scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write long poems. Really, really like it. I really liked it, but be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more than that. Something you should digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? Actually, this story isn't about ghost at all. I must add, what is the point? Well, I suppose you did only glance over it at all, story, but remember that poem is all mixed. Expressing their own thoughts, feelings, and expressing their work. Did you do more than just in simply tell or paint a picture? In this case, perhaps the subject for you is only be a simple one compared to cost. Getting in the last remaining place of combining your late cost to pass and send him alone with nothing. That's a lot. That's more, a lot more Solomon, put it that way. I hadn't even thought that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. You are more simply to... If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Yeah, of course. I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end I enjoyed it. I'm really going to get my best friend now. Me too. It's a demon. Well, so what about anything wrong with you? That's a little blunt. Well, in view of me. It's not like I said it from the end. It's just I didn't move my emojis. Basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get the mind? I'll pass. Well, you mean, I guess I need to do your mind. And that you like it. That's why. Yeah, I thought anyone would like it. I like it. What? Do you want to... I am. Why are you so convinced that I would like it? Because... If you're not going to think that writing is very hard, I'm going to get a job. So people don't even take my writing seriously. That isn't the point of poem for people to express themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it really great. I like it really hard. Like, like in the morning, 
So I did. I guess moving into the environment. Then when I'm in the room, I'm there to learn something. Is it really new? Yeah, I guess not. I just had to humor with last comment. I don't really care how old you are, but if not, so he's feeling proud, then I won't take that up from him. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Precisely, everyone is judging me for my media variety abilities, even if they are just being nice. There's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a little club of Hassan. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something on her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly exchange your favorite share in their respective poems. As they read in a tandem, I watch each of their expression change. Natsuki eyebrows borrow on frustration, you know, and Yuri smiles sadly. Why? Why is it in their language? Eh, did you say something? Eh, nothing. Natsuki dismissively returned to the poem and list one hand. I guess you will need the answer. She's going for the girl. I didn't. I didn't realize you were going with me. I didn't realize you were going with me. That's your time. Yeah. You are just... You just dance up as well. Maybe you are just jealous that you may appreciate your advice more than you appreciate yours. Huh? No, do you know? You know, I don't mind that more. Now you better put on yours, huh? I was first myself. I will deliver the card on my way to make everything I do over cute list. Hey. Hey, you know what? I was no one know. That's me. Hmm, that's okay, that's slow. This is the same word here. Taking out your own secret channel just like that. Really act as young as you look not so good. Yeah, 
calling you. You return to me as if she noticed I was standing here. Huh? She's just trying to make me look bad. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. just pick yuri then just head over sorry about that we are really should not try to get in you no it's only better for us to stay out of this we will go back inside once they're done yelling some president down i can't even confirm my own club person i just said we'll say we'll do a little more i said something now But I never have it in me to put my foot in such as you understand, right? Anyway, this means you want to spend less time with other things, and that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Why is she crying? She quickly runs away. Oh dear, well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? <laughs> I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might be have said to Natsuki. Or did. Man, please don't hate me. Please. I don't like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. So I'm sure not to go all right tomorrow. Completely. Here the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'll have to stay a little while longer. I'm there. Uh, business for a hundred minutes last time now. I'll wait for you to be done. Uh, and my experience, so please let me take this responsibility to take. And then you don't want me to run or something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. Yes. I don't get much of a chance to discuss my book with me. To be James Wesley with me, you're listening. Sign. I guess I... I guess I don't really have a choice to... Uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I will leave. Are they both seen it? Or self-aware? I don't know. What, whatever it is. Are they both self-aware? Let's see it. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.